Okay, applying the 12 step programs to um, pa being powerless over thinking. Okay, so the 12 step groups are very powerful. How do you apply the 12 steps? So in the 12 steps, they say I'm powerless over alcohol. My life has become unmanageable and I need a higher power to restore me to sanity. And I turn my life and my will over to the care of God. So that's the 12 steps and there's uh, other steps as well. How do you apply that to, to um, addiction to thinking? Well, so the, the, the addiction is that I'm addicted to being in my thoughts all the time. So that's step one and my life becomes manageable. And manageable means I'm not in that infinite stillness and presence and love of God all the time. I tend to be stuck in my thoughts most of the time. So you could say I'm drunk on thinking. I'm not in the infinite presence and grace and, and love of the divine. I'm just drunk on, 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 on a TV, addiction TV thoughts, like thought TV. I don't know what to call it. It's like I'm tuned into this radio channel of just numbing out from the present moment and just being in a stream of addictive thoughts. Uh, so I'm drunk in a way. I don't want to be in God's infinite light and stillness right now. I just want to be drunk on my thinking stream. So that's step one. So if you're in your thoughts in the day, like I say, I spent um, f uh, 13 hours and 50 minutes in my thoughts today, and I spent three minutes just being an in infinite presence. So basically, I was drunk for most of the day. And I had three minutes of being sober, you know, being in oh, out of thoughts and just in the stunning presence of and stillness of God. So, so that's step one. So if you're going to these addiction programs, it'd be like, well, I didn't have a sober today. I spent the whole day in my head. I, I wasn't even present to the infinite stillness. Or someone might come in and say, yeah, I had a whole day of being out of my thoughts and just this infinite silence and stillness and presence was there the whole day. I didn't touch thoughts. So that person would have a, a day of sobriety and the other day would be re would have relapsed and been drunk from thinking the whole day. So that's how step one would work in a 12 step group. Um, and then how do you apply that? Well, then, you know, step two is you need, you need a higher power. You need the infinite presence to help you to let go of your addiction to thoughts. And then you, you, you need to turn, you need to pray to God, to let go or cancel, let go of your addiction to thinking, God help me, uh, aid me with your power to let go of being addicted to my thoughts. I pray for grace. Um, I pray for willingness to be out of my addiction to thoughts. Give me grace. Give me. I pray for miracles around this. Um, you set your intention. You have spiritual bodies around you that said, yeah, I had quite a lot of today out of my thoughts. So you feel inspired. You get your group of friends who, who are going to encourage you to be out of your thinking and are making progress. So you feel inspired to be out of thoughts. Um, you can, but you know, you can also use the Course in Miracles to be out of thoughts as well, not just 12 step groups. So all my thoughts are meaningless, you know. Um, yeah, if you're spending most of your day out of thoughts and then you just keep having this thought like, I want, I want a chocolate cake, then that's a, that's a meaningful thought. So you've just got to say, my, my, my thought of chocolate cakes is meaningless. You know, it's a totally meaningless thought. Um, I cancel my I cancel my addiction to a, my special thought of chocolate cakes. I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind. Or I pray for a miracle to see my thought of chocolate cakes differently. Uh, or uh, I pray to God to let go of the specialness of my thought of chocolate cakes or image of chocolate cakes. So, you know, so when there's no more special thoughts, meaningful thoughts, and then you'll be in the, the, the stillness. You'll be in the infinite presence because the, you, you can only have a thought if the thought has some kind of meaning or still kind of has some kind of addictive pull to it. So if you had no addictive thoughts, um, then you'd be free of the addiction. You can use the 12 step groups, it would work, but there aren't any 12 step groups yet that I know of that are um, set up where everyone's sort of um, um, uh, on the same page. They have, you have groups for alcohol, drugs, sex, but I haven't seen one yet, but the, you, anyone can start a group on that. So um, uh, so the powerlessness, how do you do that in 12 step? Well, you pray, you pray and um, you meditate to try and get out of that, um, uh, to, to, to help you to release the addiction to thoughts.